I have one motto that I live by, and it's don't quit. When I was two, my mother packed myself up and she made her way to Dayton, Ohio. Three years later, she married my stepfather. Neither one of my parents were educated and they were both in survival mode most of our lives. And I think it was part of what made me driven to not find myself there. I started babysitting at age 11. I started selling Wallace Brown greeting cards when I was 11, 12 years old, door to door, uh, shoveling snow, things so that I could have money to get the things that you know I felt I needed at that time. I was a very good student from the start. I loved school. My goal was to never miss a day of school. I played varsity basketball and field hockey and was a class officer my senior year. I think one of the most important factors in Vicki's life was her role in junior achievement. Uh, she started working young and developed skills and I do think that that helped shape her professional career significantly. I just soaked that experience up. At that point in my life, I thought I really wanted to have my own business. In Dayton, I was project director of a not-for-profit that involved a lot of data analysis. And when I applied for the CEO job in Evansville of a similar not-for-profit, and I never expected to get it because I did not have a degree. And so I thought that was gonna be my turning point to go to college. They never asked me about my education, and yet they offered me the job. I accepted the job, and I would say that was my turning point. When I was recruited to Cincinnati, they just assumed that I had the education. And so opportunities opened up at that point. I was at Medco Peer Review in Cincinnati, and about two years into it, I was seeing issues inside of healthcare that didn't seem right to me. I met with uh, Stouffer's and through our conversations, they found out that I was starting this idea for the, for the for-profit world. And so just out of the blue, they wanted to know if I could do that for them. And they knew I had not formed the company yet. And being a very optimistic person, I said, absolutely. And literally nine months later, we were in business. And within the first year, we saved them $2 million and uh, took off from there. Vicki had a history at United Medical Resources of hiring and promoting women. Um, she put a lot of women in positions probably beyond where their expectations were. And then she believed in them and then she held them accountable. I always shared the financials when I was running United Medical Resources. And I think uh, when people saw what we could accomplish, if we weren't making our numbers, how they could influence those numbers, and they did. I watched Vicki's company grow significantly under her leadership. Ultimately, it had an impact um, with her client base growing to a much larger region. United Medical Resources made a difference in our community because it brought strategy to healthcare decision making. When you're running a business and you got other people's lives in your hands, it's scary but it's also exciting. It's hard to walk away from the knowledge one gains for their entire life. You, it, you feel like you have to find a place to deploy that knowledge and, and leverage it in some way. And since I had been on the hospital board while I was working, that seemed like such a natural place for me to continue. Everybody at the Christ Hospital has a deep respect for Vicki's healthcare expertise, and she has a high expectation in terms of how we perform, and she challenges us every day. I've always volunteered. 
To me, that's what makes me a whole person. It fills my soul to give back, especially to a city that's been so good to me. I don't know as many people that have touched so many lives and so many organizations in this community. And Vicki brings great passion, great energy, and a strategic perspective to most any discussion. My passion would be with children. And to me, just like I love going to school, I want kids to feel what I felt. I want that school to be a place that they get up early for and want to go to and want to learn and be a sponge while their brain is on fire and developing in those early years. <laughs> My family is everything to me. Jack and I together have six children. We love to travel. I think we have been on just about every continent. We are planning our 10th safari, and we both uh, share a love of photography. If you step back and take a look at Vicki and what she's accomplished and what she represents and how she's broken so many different stereotypes and has achieved so much, you actually um, are in awe of her. She loves this community. She's been intimately involved in this community. I think as a result, she's made it her home. Growing up, coming from no money, and being where I am today, I think it makes it so much easier to give back. And it's given me a chance to give back in ways I never dreamed of being able to give back.